Imagine standing beneath a night sky thousands of years ago. No satellites, no city lights, just the stars, the moon, and the endless black above you. Then suddenly, the sky changes. The sun disappears in the middle of the day. A blood red moon rises over the horizon, or a streak of fire cuts across the heavens for weeks. To ancient civilizations, these weren't just strange natural phenomena. They were signs, messages from gods, warnings of disaster, or punishment for human sins. The heavens were the ultimate authority, and when they misbehaved, entire empires trembled. Today we're looking at forgotten astronomical events that absolutely terrified ancient civilizations. Real events that changed how people saw the world and the cosmos itself. On October 22nd, 2134, the sky darkened over ancient China, and two royal astronomers paid for it with their lives. Under the reign of Emperor Zong Kang, the Chinese Chinese court relied on astronomers to predict solar eclipses, but on that fateful day, the sun vanished unexpectedly in the middle of the day. The people panicked. Believing a celestial dragon was devouring the sun, they banged drums and shouted to scare it away. When daylight returned, the emperor demanded to know why his astronomers hadn't warned him. They were executed for negligence. To the ancient Chinese, the heavens reflected the emperor's power. A failed prediction wasn't just a mistake. It meant the emperor had lost harmony with the cosmos. What we now know as a solar eclipse became, in that moment, one of the most terrifying cosmic omens in early recorded history. In July 44 BC, a bright, fiery object appeared in the Roman sky and stayed there for seven days. To the Romans, this wasn't just a comet. It was the soul of Julius Caesar rising to the heavens. The Great Comet of 44 BC was one of the brightest ever recorded, visible even in daylight. It appeared shortly after Caesar's assassination, and the timing was perfect for myth-making. The people believed it was a sign that Caesar had become a god. Temples were dedicated in his honor, and the comet became a political symbol used by his heir, Augustus. While the Romans found comfort in the idea, others across the world saw such comets as omens of destruction. To many ancient societies, comets were hairy stars that warned of plague, famine, or death. The same event that immortalized Caesar in the heavens terrified others who saw it as the universe tearing itself open. In the winter of 1841 CE, people across Europe and Asia looked up to see a long-tailed light stretching across the sky. It stayed visible for two months, terrifying everyone who saw it. In China, the emperor's advice advisors performed non-stop rituals to protect the empire. In Europe, chroniclers described it as, quote, a terrible sign, gleaming for many nights with grim brightness. The timing couldn't have been worse. The Carolingian Empire was collapsing in civil war, and famine was spreading. The comet of 841 to 842 CE became known as a Star of Doom. Its appearance seemed to mirror the chaos on Earth, convincing many that heaven itself had turned against them. Modern Astronomers suspect it was a large, long-period comet, possibly with a tail spanning tens of millions of kilometers. To those watching from the ground, it was more than just light. It was a message that something terrible was coming, and they weren't wrong. In 797 AD, both Byzantine and Frankish chroniclers recorded something extraordinary. The sun, they said, went dark for over two weeks. The reports describe a pale, weak sun that barely illuminated the land. People across Europe and the Mediterranean began fasting, praying, and preparing for the end of days. Many connected the event to Emperor Constantine's blinding and overthrow, believing God himself had extinguished the light to signal disapproval. Modern scientists now think a major volcanic eruption may have thrown ash into the atmosphere, dimming the sun for weeks. But for the people at the time, it wasn't science, it was prophecy. To live in a world where daylight itself was fading was the ultimate horror. For 17 days, they believed they were living through the slow death of the world. In 1490 CE, the citizens of Qingyang, China looked up and saw the sky itself falling apart. Records from the Ming Dynasty describe stones falling like rain from the heavens. Thousands of people reportedly died as fiery rocks smashed into homes, streets, and fields. Some historians think this was caused by a meteor airburst, similar to the 1908 Tunguska explosion 
station in Siberia. The incident likely coincided with the appearance of a bright comet in 1490, which may have broken apart as it entered Earth's atmosphere. For the survivors, it was impossible to comprehend. The heavens had always been stable, perfect, divine. So when the sky began throwing rocks, it felt like judgment. Whether the death toll was in the hundreds or the thousands, the emotional impact was also enormous. For a moment, people truly believed the end had come. On a cold night in November 1577, people across Europe saw a new, terrifying light dominate the sky. It was enormous, its tail stretched halfway across the heavens, and it stayed visible for weeks. Known today as the Great Comet of 1577, it terrified both peasants and kings. The Turkish Sultan Murad III believed it warned of disaster for his empire. In England, commoners whispered that it foretold death and plague. Even astronomers were shaken. The comet's brightness and position helped Tycho Bray realize that comets weren't atmospheric, but truly celestial beyond the moon. But to everyone else, it was a sign that the world had gone wrong. Wars raged, famine spread, and disease followed in its wake. To the people of the 16th century, this wasn't just science. It was apocalypse made visible. Imagine being a Maya priest watching the moon turn blood red. To us, a lunar eclipse is beautiful. To the ancient Maya, it meant the gods of the underworld were attacking the moon. In their mythology, the moon goddess represented fertility and life. When she was darkened or turned crimson, it was seen as a battle between light and death. During an eclipse, Maya priests would perform sacrifices and rituals to save the moon, hoping to restore balance. Archaeological and codex evidence shows that they could even predict lunar eclipses with remarkable accuracy, but that didn't make them less terrifying. Even knowing when one was coming didn't change the emotion of it. The moment the moon began to vanish, every drumbeat and cry from the temple echoed with the same fear. What if this time the gods don't give it back? High in the Andes, the Inca Empire built its power on the rhythm of the sun. Every year during the winter solstice, they held the festival of the sun to honor their god. The sun's path was sacred. It dictated farming, religion, and the authority of the emperor himself, who was believed to be a direct descendant of the sun. So when the solstice behaved strangely, when storms or unexpected alignments blocked the sunrise, it was a moment of national panic. Priests would fast and perform rituals, sometimes sacrificing animals or humans to help the sun return to its proper path. In some years, strange weather patterns or volcanic haze made the sunrise dim and late convincing the people that the sun had grown weak or angry. For the Incas, this wasn't symbolic, it was survival. Without the sun's favor, crops failed and empires fell. In the late 1520s, the Inca Empire was divided in civil war between two brothers, Atahualpa and Huascar. Then, during one of their battles, a total solar eclipse plunged the sky into darkness. Both armies froze in fear. To them, the sun was their protector, and its disappearance meant divine punishment. Chroniclers later recorded that Atahualpa's side took it as a sign that he had been chosen by the gods. Huascar's followers panicked, convinced that the heavens had cursed them. Shortly after, Huascar was captured and executed. When the Spanish arrived just years later, the empire was fractured and vulnerable. A single eclipse didn't cause the empire's fall, but it became part of the legend. To the Inca people, it was the moment the gods turned away, letting foreigners take what was once theirs. In the spring of 1066, a blazing comet appeared in the night sky. It shone so brightly that it was visible even during the day, and its tail stretched like a sword above England. This was Halley's Comet, and it arrived at the worst possible moment. King Harold II had just seized the English throne. People across the land believed the comet meant one thing, doom. Within months, William of Normandy invaded England. The Bayeux Tapestry, which still survives today, shows the comet above King Harold with the caption, a sign from the heavens. After the Battle of Hastings, Harold was dead and William was king. Whether coincidence or a cosmic timing, the event cemented Halley's Comet as one of history's most famous omens. Even centuries later, kings and peasants alike would look to the sky in terror whenever it returned. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Olivia Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.